My name's Georgia and I'm from Northern Ireland. Um, I graduated last year back home in Northern Ireland and then moved out to Australia in August and moved to Mungandai just over four weeks ago where I started my rural work in a little Catholic primary school. So far, loving it. The community, I mean, there's only 29 children in the whole school. There's three classes. So I teach the K12 class and it only has 11 children in it, but it's such a nice community feel within the school. You get to know the community so quickly. You get to know the parents, the staff. Also just because you get to know all the children in the whole school, obviously 29 children in the whole school. You get to know them like within two days, I could, you know, I knew all of their names. So it's, it's got really good as well resources for being such a small school, you know, that we all have interactive whiteboards, uh, that there's four classrooms and they're like lovely classrooms, all of the air cons and like there's everything you need. I thought maybe coming out, you know, there wouldn't be, I was like, gosh, I wonder what is in the school, but everything you need, all of the resources. You know, I'm teaching three year groups in one class, so that, you know, coming in, that was definitely challenging and I had to work harder, you know, to try and meet the needs of all of those pupils, but I really enjoyed it. You know, I'm busy all the time, I'm coming in, and I enjoy going into school every day. Like everybody, all the staff here are so nice. You know, you go in, we have a chat in the morning, we'll go for a coffee, and it's just like, yeah, I feel like just the whole community feel and just how amazing the staff are here. And I felt so welcome. So like from the moment I got here, everybody came in to welcome me. You know, I've been supplied with this house and this accommodation, and like my housing out here is so nice as well you know I've got aircon in my room our garden is huge like it's all wooden floors like high ceilings such a nice accommodation so to have that as well obviously for free and to live with one of the other members of staff you know it's been so nice making the friends and like joining swim club and stuff on a Thursday evening we go to that and so it's so nice you know having someone to live with and you can just go into school, it's like another friend as well, which has been lovely. On Tuesday, I was out on the cotton farms, one of the boys in my class, out with his parents, they showed me around the cotton farms. It just kind of looked like cotton wool, you know, on trees, which just fascinated me. And like, they took me right up to silos. And, and then it's nice as well, because then like that child in my class was able to come in and tell the rest of the class, you know, oh, Miss Bustard was out at our farm last night. And they're all chatting about it. And it's just nice to have that, you know, experience. I did some relief teaching in Brisbane um, before I came out to rural, but like you come out to rural and you have steady income, you have steady work, you know, you're not waking up thinking, gosh, you know, am I going to get booked today? And like I have heard as well, obviously in Sydney, there's so many teachers, so many Irish teachers especially have come over to Sydney and can't get work because there's such, you know, it's such competition. Whereas like out here, you know, I know for the next two terms that I'm going to have work, I'm going to have a steady income and like why not do it, you know it's a new experience and whether it's a good experience or a bad experience it's still an experience and I feel like I've come out here like my confidence has grown, I'm much more independent, I'm so glad I got placed here as well like I really love this school, it just fit right in.